Welcome ladies and gentlemen one more time to Science Wild Verticals with Evangelist F. Baxter. May the peace of God and the grace of God rest upon you now and forever. Ladies and gentlemen, God is able to fix what we can fix. Today I have a little message to share with you on a little message entitled Leaning on the Everlasting Arms of Jesus. Leaning on the Everlasting Arms of Jesus. Leaning on the what? The everlasting arms of Jesus. Hallelujah. Men may let us down. Women may let us down. But Jesus Christ will never let us down. Leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why do we need to lean on the everlasting arms of Jesus? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is, that's the strongest arms to lean on. That's the arms of a one, someone that was dead. Revelation chapter 18. Revelation chapter 1, rather, verse 18. This is someone that was dead, and now he's alive, and he lived forevermore. And we can lean on his everlasting arms. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this message entitled today, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zion's wild broadcast purpose is to spread the word of God with the red blood gospel, letting you know that the best arm to lean on is the everlasting arms of Jesus. He's the only one that was dead and came back alive now, and he lived and he lived forever. Hallelujah. Because Jesus, Jesus, of the world and in you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Come on now, let's walk. When you lean on the arms of Jesus, it means you gotta walk in the light. If we claim that we're Leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus. We have to be a shining light. So we have to walk in the light. The beautiful light of God. The Bible said if we walk in the light as he's in the light. We have fellowship with him. And the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sins. Hallelujah. Let us walk in the light. When we lean on the everlasting arms of the Lord. We have to be an example in this world of sin. Hallelujah. Okay, when we are leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus, we have to let people know that life is not an endless pain with a painful end. But life can end with eternal life. Because St. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not what, perish but have everlasting life. Leaning on the everlasting light. Leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus means we have to walk in the light, in the beautiful light of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Oh Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Shine all around us while we lead on the everlasting arms of Jesus. We have to be a shining light. Shine, be a shining light to someone in the dark. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Oh my God. I thank you for your grace and your mercy. I thank you, Lord, that you didn't allow the devil to give us this grace. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus, that you came to took our place. I thank you, Jesus, that this man that is listening and this woman, uh, Lord Jesus, you have the power to come in their life. 
I thank you, Lord, that you have been a shining light for this boy and this girl. Hallelujah. Here I am on Zion's wall, evangelist F. Baxter. Lord Jesus, what I lack, supply that. Wash me in your blood and place a blood upon me and protect me in this world that I will be a shining light. May my life bring, may my life story bring, bring your glory. Hallelujah. Oh God, ladies and gentlemen, pray for Evangelist Baxter as I pray for you. That when the roll is called up yonder, we will be in the light. Let us be a shining light as we lean upon the everlasting lambs of Jesus. Remember, being a Christian don't mean you just be in the light and not share the light. If you are in the light and you are leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus, you have to share the light. You have to tell people about the light. You have to show people the light. You have to give example of how Jesus the light was help, help you to be a shining light as we lean on the everlasting arms of Jesus. Hallelujah. Be an example by day and by night. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah, Jesus, the light of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, if we are leaning on the everlasting arms of God, we have to be an example. Leaning on the everlasting arms of God is saying we are living for Jesus. And if we live for Jesus, Jesus has many promises for us. He promised us a place where sin cannot molest. He promised us a place where there be no more death. He promised us a place where there be joy and peace, ladies and gentlemen. So if we are leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus, then we have this hope for eternal life. We have this hope to live with Jesus and never grow whole. So I want to repeat the song that was written by the immunologist many years ago. The song that talk about leaning on the everlasting arms of God. Just listen to the word of God. The, the song listen to the word of the song ladies and gentlemen boys and girls dear God this message that I'm trying to broadcast dear God let your Holy Spirit take my mind let your Holy Spirit hold me and teach me let the Holy Spirit hold me and hope in my mouth that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart would be acceptable in your great sight O Lord in Jesus name I pray The song said, ladies and gentlemen, what a fellowship, what a joint divine, leaning on the everlasting arms, what a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. As I was saying before, the song said, ladies and gentlemen, what a fellowship. What a joint divine. And the reason why I want to bring up this song, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms of Jesus, is because God made a promise. God made a promise, ladies and gentlemen. He made many promises, but God made a special promise that if we serve Him, we shall live forever. The Bible made a promise that if we serve God, we shall never die. When I mean never die, what do I mean? It means that if we even die, we shall come back to life and live with Jesus and never die. I'm talking about after the resurrection. In this life, we will die because of sin. In this life, we'll die because of restriction and sin and sickness. But if we live for Jesus and we, we, we rose from the grave with God, ultimate power, we shall live with Jesus, hallelujah, and never die. So I'm going to repeat the song to you. In words and you will hear this song in the background we have a great hope we have a great hope for life and life abundant in the name of Jesus hallelujah and ladies and gentlemen when we lean on the everlasting arms of Jesus and walk in the beautiful light of God we can shine to let others know that we are not just down here to live and die but we are here to live and if we die we will serve god that we shall rise again first thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16. hallelujah 
Oh, hallelujah. Praise God Almighty from whom all blessing flow. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me let me let me just go to the song. I, I get carried away sometime. Hallelujah. But God is good and God is great and He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. The song said, What a fellowship. What a joy and divine. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Talking about Jesus. What a blessedness. What a peace is mine. Talking about leaning on whose arm? Jesus. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning. Leaning safe and secure from all alarms. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning on the everlasting arms. We're talking about the arms of Jesus. Jesus who have power and strength. Jesus who is our refuge. Jesus who our present help. Jesus who is our strong tower. Jesus who is our way maker. Jesus who is our provider. Hmm? Our bridge over troubled water. Jesus who is the best doctor in the sick room. Jesus who is the way, the true and the life. Jesus who is the life giver we're talking about now. Hallelujah. Oh, sweet to walk in the pilgrim way. Leaning on the everlasting arms oh bright the part grows from day to day what what we doing come on church what we doing man come on let me hear you leaning on the everlasting arms hmm? leaning on the everlasting arms of jesus who is the rock of ages hallelujah talking about jesus the rock who they put in in, 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 in underneath a rock after they took him off the cross after he died for you and i you remember jesus i'm talking about the rock of ages, who they put under some rocks. But after the third, after uh, early, 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 the first day of the week, you remember that Jesus, the rock of ages, rock out of the rock. Because ladies and gentlemen, you realize that Jesus, the rock of ages, is the true rock. And so they place a big rock on top of the rock of ages. And ladies and gentlemen, there was a shaking. And he that was underneath the rock, the rock of ages, start to rock. And the hurt start to crack. When the rock of ages start to rock, the hurt start to crack. When the rock of ages start to rock, ladies and gentlemen, death and the grave have to step back. And Jesus Christ, the rock of ages, rock out of the spot. Hallelujah. Talking about Jesus Christ, we are leaning on his arms. What have I to dread? And what have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms. I have blessed peace with my lord so near leaning on the everlasting arms we don't have to fear death no more because jesus overcome death and because he live we can face tomorrow because he live all hopes are gone because he live ladies and gentlemen we shall live with him hallelujah and never grow whole leaning on the everlasting arms if you never make your choice to follow Jesus. Zion's wild broadcast with evangelist Baxter F. Baxter is saying today, it's getting late and it's getting dark. Come and give yourself to Jesus. Come and give your life to Jesus and lean on the everlasting arms and salvation will be sure. Your place in heaven will be sure. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible said in Revelation 21, verse four, there comes a time when there'll be no more debt. Hallelujah. The farmer things will be passed away. Hallelujah. The Bible said there will be a city. And the street will be streets of gold. Revelation 21 verse 1. The Bible said this place will be so wonderful. That there will be no need for the S-U-N. Because God S-O-N will be the lamb. God S-O-N will be the temple. There will be no need for the temple. Hallelujah. There will be no need for the moon are the sun because the glory of god will light it up oh lord of mercy what a day that will be hallelujah oh lord of mercy pray for me ladies and gentlemen i get a little crazy and excited when i think about the greatness and the goodness and the majesty and the power and the glory of god hallelujah oh lord lean on the everlasting arms keep leaning on the everlasting arms of jesus because your future will be bright hallelujah oh god thank you jesus thank you hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus Christ. Everybody join with me.
to sing. Hallelujah. Parting again. No more death. No more sorrow. No more crying. No more parting. What a day that will be. Zion's Wild Broadcast want to let you know that Jesus never lies and he keeps his promises. He said, If I go, I will come again. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is coming again, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is coming again. Keep the faith. Don't you switch. Don't you give up on God now. Just make sure you are right with God. Now is not the time to try and leave your church. Stay with the word of God. But make sure you are living according to the word of God. Check your Bible. Make sure what you are being teach is what is written in the word of God. Remember a lot of people out teaching. Make sure who you sit under. They are teaching the word of God. Remember what the Bible said. Hallelujah. Make sure that you are walking in the beautiful light of God. Ladies and gentlemen, for you to go to heaven, you have to go God's way. So make sure we are doing right. Remember what the Bible said. Remember the things of God. Remember the word of God. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. Blessed, blessed, blessed are they that do his commandments that they might have right to the tree of life. Zion's Wild Broadcast, Preacher Red Blood Gospel. This is Zion's Wild Broadcast with Evangelist F. Baxter. Come on. Of fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting heart. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the Oh yes, I'm leaning on, leaning on the everlasting arms. It won't be long, ladies and gentlemen, before we be going away with Jesus Christ our Savior. It won't be long from now. You see all this killing? You see all this natural disaster increasing? These are signs of the coming of the Lord. It's very near. Now is not the time to break fellowship, but now is the time to make sure we are wrapped up and tied up in the name of Jesus. Now is the time to make sure we are live according to the Bible. A lot of shepherds out there teaching and they're not teaching us the word of God. Make sure you study the Bible that you will know that you are in the word of God. The Bible said, blessed are they that do his commandments that they might have right to the tree of life. Come on now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we are leaning upon the everlasting arms of Jesus, we have to be an example, as I said before. We have to walk upon the King's highway and testify about his goodness and his greatness. So it's good to lean on the everlasting arms, but we have to testify. Testify by walking up the King's highway, letting people know that the King is coming, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who in the book of St. Matthew chapter 2 was the only one that when he was a baby was called a king. That real king is coming back again. Hallelujah. When we, uh, when, we, when we are leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus, we are on our way to heaven if we're truly leaning on the arms of Jesus. And so we have to be an example. We have to spread the gospel. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to be a light. A light should not be hidden, but should set up on a hill. So here is it. We are, we are leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus. And now we are also the light of the world, but we got to walk. Come on, watch this. Come on now. Come on. What the what? Yes. 
Watt. Come on. Are you what? Walking up on the. Woo! Come on. Share the gospel. Tell somebody that Jesus is coming again. Tell somebody it's getting late and it's getting dark. Tell somebody that this world problem will not be solved by men. It's God got to come back to solve the problem, ladies and gentlemen. So continue to walk up on the King's Highway. Testify. Come off Gossip Corner and get up on Praise Boulevard. Come on, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, when we are leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus, we have to be a witness, we have to be a testimony. But not just that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to walk up on the King's Highway, but we have to testify how we get over. We have to testify who will bring us over, and we have to let the world know, oh, it is Jesus who will bring us over. Hallelujah! We lean on the everlasting arms of Jesus. We have to testify how we make it over. Walking up on the King's Highway, being the light of the world, leaning on the everlasting life arms of Jesus. We have to testify how we make it over. Who bring us over? We know it's Jesus. The host in light. They've been traveling the day and night. Come on. Coming on from every nation. On the way into the green coronation. So we're going to testify, ladies and gentlemen, how we make it over. We're going to testify on our way. And then we're going to sweep into the city, into the new Jerusalem. After, if we are faithful and we keep the commandments of God and come out of sin and leave sin alone, live for Jesus. In the end, we will be able to sweep over after we overcome. Hallelujah. You know why we can lean on the everlasting arms of Jesus? Because God have it all in control. In spite of what you're going through right now, in spite of what we don't have, God have our life in control. Ladies and gentlemen, keep leaning on the arms, the everlasting arms of Jesus. And you're
Give your life to Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, pray for each other. Pray for each other that we will come out of sins and be come out of sin rather and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Because the blood of Jesus never loses its power, and there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel vein that sinners plunge beneath that flood and lose their guilty stain. Come before it's too late. God got it in control. Share this message with someone. Let them know. Leaning on the everlasting light arms. It's not just talking, but it's the life that we live. Hallelujah. Share this message with someone. It might be a blessing to them too. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, take time to go and spend time with God in the Word. Take time to pray. Take time to read the Word of God. Ladies and gentlemen, leading on everlasting arms mean you trust God. Somebody say only a look it took, ladies and gentlemen. You look at Jesus and you will know that he's the way, the truth, and the life. That's what it took. That's what it took. Ladies and gentlemen, while we are walking on this King's Highway, while we are leaning on the everlasting light, uh, arms of Jesus, while we are walking in the beautiful uh, light of God, ladies and gentlemen, we have to take time not just to look, but we have to stretch our hands and stretch our minds and our hands to God by calling on the name of Jesus. As we lean on the everlasting life, call him up! And tell him about the sin that we are in trouble with. Tell him about the stuff that every time you try to overcome, you find yourself. Get back in it. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. For God to solve our problem, we have to have admit that we have to have a problem. Have a problem. We have to submit that we have a problem. And if we want God to fix it, we have to tell him about it. Acknowledge it. And God is willing to fix it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch your arms to Jesus now.
as I finish this message in Science World Broadcast, just want to let you know that the message today, topic entitled Leaning on the Everlasting Arms of Jesus. I want to let you know that this ship of Zion's, ladies and gentlemen, if we stay with Jesus, if we pray to Jesus and stay with Jesus and obey the word of God, our future is bright and our future will be sure, ladies and gentlemen. No harms is strong like the harms of Jesus. And as we travel through life with the ups and down, the hints and how, I know sometimes we cry, I know sometimes we feel sad and we feel bad, but I hear and science wall evangelist F backs. I want to let you know that our future will be bright. If we keep leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus, the purpose of this message is to encourage someone in spite of what you are going through, in spite of the tears that you shed, in spite of the fear that you have, in spite of the circumstances that is now to your neck. I come to let you know that if you give it to Jesus and you call on the name of Jesus, when he get ready, he will do what's best. I can't tell you what God will do, but sometimes what we think he will do, he might not do. But I guarantee you one thing, God is able and God is loving and God is kind and he will not give you more than you can bear. Keep leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus and come back testifying about his goodness and his greatness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, share this message with somebody. Let them know that God is able to hold us if we lean on his everlasting arms. God is able to deliver us from all arms. And finally, God is able to save us, to give us life and life more abundant in Jesus' name. Share this message with someone. God bless you and keep it. This is Evangelist F. Baxter saying, keep on leaning on the everlasting arms and we will end up in the promised land, the Beulah land. What a day that will be. When our Jesus we shall see. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming and they need to repent before it's too late. Keep spreading the word of God. Keep loving. Keep loving each other. Do not hate one another. Look out for each other. Remember, God is watching us. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3 said, The eyes of the Lord is in every place. 
See the good and the evil. Do good and God will bless you. Keep leading on the everlasting arms of Jesus and your future will be bright and heaven will be your home. the everlasting arms of Jesus trust him remember the ten commandments and we shall overcome don't hate nobody love each other yes Lord evangelist Max I would like to overcome I would like to go and talk to Jesus I would like to have a little talk with Jesus. I would like to see some of the prophets like Elisha and Elijah. I would like, ladies and gentlemen, to have the opportunity to walk and talk with Jesus. This message today entitled Leaning on the Everlasting Arms of Jesus. If we lean on the everlasting arms of Jesus, the promise is sure. We shall overcome someday. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Baxter believe that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your name there. Keep leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus. Keep trusting the Lord. Keep studying your Bible. Keep praying to God. shall overcome someday.
steadfast in arms and we will be able to overcome in the name of Jesus. Share this message with someone if it has been a blessing to you. God bless you. Evangelist F. Baxter. By God's grace, if we trust Him and love Him, we shall overcome. If we trust and love Him in the name of Jesus, we shall overcome. What a day that will be. Pray for Evangelist Baxter that I will overcome as you overcome. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Yes, we shall overcome. Keep on leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus. And I assure you, in the name of Jesus, we shall overcome. This is Evangelist F. Baxter saying, May the peace of God, may the grace of God, May the love of God enfold you in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, bless this man who took the time to watch this video. Bless this woman, boy or girl. I pray that your peace that passeth all understanding will rest and abide upon them now and forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, share this message with someone. It might be a blessing to them. Remember this message in Tycho. Leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus. What are arms to leave on? Hallelujah. Keep leaning on the everlasting arms of Jesus. Overcome in the name of Jesus. This is Evangelist F. Baxter. God bless you.